This is the first of what South Africa hopes will be millions of vaccine doses administered in the coming weeks. Healthcare workers, together with President Cyril Ramaphosa, were at the front of the line when South Africa started its vaccine rollout. The country is the first in the world to approve these shots by Johnson & Johnson. Officials are hopeful the drug can help beat Africa's worst COVID-19 outbreak. We have secured 9 million doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Further consignments will arrive over the next four weeks, totaling half a million Johnson & Johnson vaccines. The Johnson & Johnson drug was a last-minute replacement. Studies indicate that unlike other vaccines available, it works against a more contagious coronavirus strain first reported in South Africa. It also requires just one shot and can be stored in standard refrigerators. Other available vaccines require two doses and deep freeze storage. The government's original plan was to distribute a million doses developed in the UK by AstraZeneca. Now, it's sharing those doses with its neighbors. AstraZeneca doses will, 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 which we purchase have been offered to the African Union platform, which we are part of, and they will be distributed to the countries that already indicated interest that do not have this particular challenge of this variant. The government's under a lot of pressure to get its rollout right. South Africa's reported a million and a half infections and close to 50,000 deaths, the most on the continent. It's also spent around $26 billion, or the equivalent of 10% of its GDP, to prop up the economy. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson says it's applied for approval of its vaccine in the U.S. and the European Union. That could be a big boost for the EU which has missed many of its vaccination targets due to production delays. We were late to authorize vaccines. We were too optimistic when it came to massive production, and perhaps we were too confident that what we ordered would actually be delivered on time. South Africa says it's also put in an order with Pfizer for 20 million of its shots, which have been shown to work against the country's COVID-19 strain. That should put it on track to meeting its target of achieving herd immunity by vaccinating two-thirds of its population by the end of the year. Paulo Montesilio, TRT World. And our correspondent, Nshepeng Matema, has been following the story. She joins us now from Johannesburg. Welcome back to the program, Nshepeng. Now, I understand uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa was among the first to receive the vaccine in South Africa. Can you tell me who else is being prioritised and how will the vaccine be rolled out across the country? I'm speaking to you from uh, Soweto Township uh, at the Chris Hani Baragwana Hospital. It's one of the two hospitals here in Gauteng province that are going to be giving out vaccines. They started today here at this facility. They actually have wrapped up for the day. Only the security and the cleaners are left to make sure that the place is, you know, is ready for the next day. They've vaccinated 40 healthcare workers here at the center. And in total, they are going to vaccinate around 11,000 800 uh, in this first phase because that is the number of the doses that they have and uh, the province uh, also has another hospital in uh, Pretoria where vaccinations have also started and uh, you know healthcare workers that we spoke to they were very upbeat uh, sigh of relief because they've really been uh, anxious coming to work every day exposing themselves worrying about going back home and exposing their families so they say that you know this is uh, uh, something that they can go back into their communities and also start encouraging people and say, hey, you know what, the vaccine is here, at least um, you should also be uh, thinking about getting vaccinated. And, uh, you know, they say this because there's been a lot of uh, disinformation, uh, fake news, um, all sorts of conspiracy theories on social media against the vaccine. And so healthcare workers are, are pleading with, uh, you know, the public to actually, you know, think about it so that by at the time, uh, the phase of uh, the general population or, you know, everyone gets vaccinated, that they have made up their minds and, uh, and believe that it actually is a good thing for them. There was a lot of excitement when the first shipment of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine arrived in South Africa earlier this month. We now know that the government decided against using that. Can you tell us more 
about what's behind that decision and what will happen to those one million doses that were received by South Africa? A lot of excitement, um, you know, was around in the country when the, uh, the batch that came the, of the Oxford vaccine arrived. And a week later, when everyone was expecting that it's going to be rolled out, then we were told that, in fact, it cannot be after further tests that were done locally. It turned out that as far as protection, it just does not uh, provide enough protection, especially when it comes to this, uh, you know, variant that is, uh, uh, has uh, been, you know, that is present here in the country that is more dangerous. And so they really had to move really quick and, and, uh, and find a plan B, which is where we are with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. What I want to also um, actually highlight is that with the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine, it's only been approved uh, to be given to healthcare workers. It cannot be rolled out to everyone because the healthcare uh, products regulator in the country says that they need to go through the data and look at the data, and that could take up to three months before they can say, okay, Yes, Johnson & Johnson says it is safe. We believe that they say it's safe. But now we've done, you know, our own research and we also can tell the public that, yes, go ahead, you can use it. And so for now, it's just healthcare workers. And um, it's, uh, I think, a half a million of uh, healthcare workers will get this vaccine in this first phase. A very important point there. Nshepeng Matema, thank you so much for bringing us up to date from Johannesburg.